Today we're talking about the big news for the DJI Ronin S and specifically version 2.0.0.90 firmware which brings Active Track 3.0 as well as Force Mobile. And in this video I'm going to give you guys an overview of what else is included in that firmware, show you how to balance your gimbal with the phone on top using the DJI phone adapter and quickly show you these features in action. Okay, so today was the big firmware release day. Now, I have actually known about this one for a little bit of time. However, obviously, I was waiting for DJI to drop it, and they have, and it is the new big update for the Ronin S that brings the features that everyone have been waiting for. Now, when the SC originally launched, everyone kicked off and said, why don't we have these features on the S? DJI isn't listening to its users. The reality was they were working on this in the background. However, it took pretty much an entire a rewrite of the firmware on the S for it to work and that would take a little bit of time. So as soon as they finished the Ronin SC and released that they got to work on doing it on the Ronin S. So they weren't ignoring people. I had spoke to some people in the background on this one myself and it was coming. It just needed a little bit of time. So the new firmware as I mentioned is version 2.0.0.90 and it adds the new support for the Ronin S for both Active Track 3.0 as well as Force Mobile. Now to get these, you also need to make sure you have the latest app as well. Now at the time of the recording this video, the Android app was out, but the iOS one was still waiting to roam through the store. However, it needs to be version 1.2.4, so make sure you've got that latest app as well. You will need to update your Ronin S firmware via the Assistant for Ronin on your PC and Mac, and once you've done that, you will have those new features available to use. Alongside the two new features, they've also added a couple of other things as well. It now has support for the new A7R4 using the MMC USB cable, which is the same as you use for the A7 III. They've also added the quick 3D roll function that we've seen on the Ronin SC as well, where you simply tap the M button a few times and it chucks the gimbal straight into 3D roll. And I really love that shortcut because it means you don't have to map one of your three settings. You can simply use that and choose the settings and have them best for normal use and then drop it into 3D roll by simply tapping the M button. They've also optimized 3D roll 360 as well and they've also changed some things around the LEDs. Overall, the big news in this firmware is that support for Active Track 3.0 as well as Force Mobile. Now, to be able to use Active Track 3.0, you're going to need a phone clamp. Now, I'm going to use the one that comes with the Ronin SC and this is also available to purchase on the DJI website as well. So if you want to link to it, I'm going to put one in the description of this video if you want to get yourself one. Once you have your phone connected on top, you are going to need to rebalance the gimbal because it does not fit in exactly the same places as it does without the giant phone on the top. Now, what I have found in my experience on both the SC and the S is you won't be able to balance it perfectly just like you can when you've got it not on the top. However, you can get it very, very close. And even when you do, in my tests, once you've calibrated the motors, the gimbal test comes out as excellent all the way along. Now, as I mentioned about calibrating the motors, once you have adjusted the gimbal position, you will need to do a full set of calibrations afterwards. Now, using Active Track isn't really a feature you can easily use swapping between it on and off all of the time. The reality is if you're going to use it, you're gonna to need to completely rebalance the gimbal, use it, and then completely rebalance the gimbal when you take it off. Because as soon as you do take the phone mount off the top, you find everything is out of whack and you won't really be able to use the gimbal smoothly anyway, and you will need to balance it again before you can use it properly. And overall, they work pretty much the same as they do on the Ronin SC. So the next thing we're going to do is get the gimbal set up with the phone mount on top, show you active track in action, as well as quickly show you force mobile working as well. Now, before I rebalance with the phone on top, I thought I would just show you the positions my GH5 gets in normal balance. And as you can see, this will allow you to set it up and work in normal use in most cases. However, when you put the phone holder on the top, and as I mentioned, I'm using the phone holder for the Ronin SC here that is available, 
you will need to completely rebalance the gimbal because it will not work without a total change of positions because it is just totally out of balance and the phone just changes the weight. Now here I'm trying to rebalance the gimbal and it does take quite a bit of fiddling to be honest. I've sped it up for the purposes of the video but I had to just keep moving it around until I got it where I was 100% happy that it was going to balance right. Now you will find that it won't be as easy to balance as it is in normal use but it can be done and you will get it to the stage that it should stay in most positions once you've got it balanced and don't forget to do the side access for the yaw motor as well because if you don't get that one right it won't pass all of the tests. Now once I got it where I was reasonably happy I then put it through the gimbal test in the Ronin S app and I was able then to just show you what it falls like when you leave go. Now there is some movement in some positions it isn't absolutely a hundred percent however it is certainly balanced fine for use on the Ronin S because it does have the stronger motors it's not really an issue for this size of gimbal on the SC you might find you need to get it a little bit perfect but overall as you can see from the tests it was showing up as excellent. Now as I mentioned you do need to do an auto tune. It is very important this is done on the Ronin S and that it does set the correct motor output for the gimbal positions. Now just like I showed before I have actually recorded the positions of the gimbal after I've done the balance with the phone fitted so if you are using a GH5 with the phone holder and a phone on top this is the sort of rough area for settings you want to get yourself into and then fine tune it for your specific application. To use Active Track 3.0, you simply go into Create, click Active Track, and then your phone screen kicks in and it gives you the ability to tap on your subject when you're ready to use it. You've still got the fast and slow options in the bottom right hand side, and you have the ability to set the camera to record or stop recording when you are using it connected to the Ronin S itself via a compatible cable. Now, I simply tried this inside, so this isn't a very good demo of it. I did a better one on my video for the Ronin SC, but as you can see, I'm the person moving around in the background and it is simply following me around as I moved around the room. So it just shows that it does work. And you can use it in this selfie mode as well if you want to by simply tapping the trigger. And again, I do show this better in my Ronin SC video, just showing you how all of the little functions work on ActiveTrack 3.0. Alongside Active Track, we also got Force Mobile. And as long as you're using a compatible phone, it will replicate the device's movement on the screen. You still have all the same settings that you had before, and you simply activate the feature. And as long as the phone's got built in gyro sensors, it will actually replicate them on the screen as you move them. And as you can see, I'm moving the phone up and down and the gimbal is following it up and down so you can see that you are able to control it remotely via the phone. Now there are some other additional settings in Active Track as well and these allow you to smooth the gimbal's movement out and by tuning these up under smoothing you can basically add a little bit of delay but it means the movement is not so harsh when the phone moves compared to the gimbal and you can see when I move it there is that little bit of delay but a smooth in action on the movement so you can just get those shots a little bit better. The final thing I wanted to quickly demo is the fast access to 3D Roll 360. To do this you simply tap the M button three times and the camera will shift to the vertical position with the joystick now controlling the rotation. You also have the auto rotate option by simply tapping the joystick twice in the direction you want it to go and it will continue to rotate for you automatically. You can then simply tap the trigger twice and it will then stop naturally at the 360 end position ready to go for you so you can use it to get some really nice shots when out and about and then to get back out into normal mode simply tap the M button three times and it will return back into the normal stabilized mode. And that is pretty much it for this video. I quickly put this one together to be able to show you the new firmware. And if you'd like more info on Active Track 3.0 itself, I actually showed that on my Ronin SC review. So please do check that out if you would like to see more info on the Active Track 3.0 feature, because there is loads of stuff on it I didn't touch on in this video. It allows you to change the position of the tracking as well as do a number of other things as well. So please do check that one out. If you would like to order the Ronin SC, 
or the phone holder for the Ronin S or SC itself. There are links to them in the description of this video as well. And if you'd like to support the channel, I really would appreciate you guys using them. Finally, please do subscribe. We are heading towards 10,000 subs and I'd love to get there before the end of 2018. So if you have been watching the videos, please do hit that little button in the bottom corner. Please do share our videos because I'd love to get the channel there before this year ends. That's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching and I will do another one again soon.